Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and yes, once more I'm talking about legacy weapons. I know, this is a very hot topic whenever it pops up, there are people that love them, there are people that hate them, you know my opinion about those weapons, especially the fact that it's impossible to balance the game with those weapons in, but now we have some actual informations indicating that this issue will get addressed. No date, nothing like that, it's not like put in stone just yet, but it's pretty solid this time around, because it comes directly from a developer working on Fallout 76. But first, if you are unfamiliar with legacy weapons and the power of those weapons, you can see the footage of me using one, even though I normally don't do that, but for the purpose of this video I need to, otherwise you will have no idea what those weapons do if you are new. And as well I will link a video from Tyr, if you want someone to rant more about those weapons. He's very good at ranting, then there is a video, you can check it out in the pinned comment, there will be a link for to this video. Now, what Hydra said. There was a conversation about balance and legacy weapons impact on those. And Hydra said, yes, addressing them is a pre-balanced pass thing. Can't really balance things at the moment without them getting more out of control. Therefore, he acknowledged that and it does look like two things gonna happen. Legacy weapons are gonna get fixed and some balance patch are going to be implemented. And if you look at this discussion a little bit higher, uh, it started from discussion about balance and new boss on the horizon. And if you don't know, the new boss is supposed to be coming at the end of this year. Therefore, my estimation will be that legacy weapons will get addressed somewhere before winter. That's my timeline. Therefore, if you do own one, it's fine. If you do plan to buy some, maybe don't. Because it can be a waste if you will spend your hard-earned money to buy some. And just here for you, if you think that it's just a random dude from Discord, it is not. Hydra is a Bethesda developer working on the game, you can even see, playing a game creation kit for 17 hours. Yeah, that's that's the game he's playing. He's on the official Bethesda Discord and his official rank on the Bethesda Discord is Bethesda Game Studios. Therefore, yes, he is working actively on Fallout 76. It's not someone random. It is not, it's verified. And by what he said, and it, this discussion happened a week ago, it's very fresh, it does look like, finally, we'll be getting some balancing and legacy issue addressed. And I would only hold my fingers crossed that balancing includes buff, a lot of buffs for under for underperforming weapons and not just nerfs for the top weapons, as they do know what top weapons are. It's very easy for developers to look on statistics and see which particular weapons are used the most. Then that's easy to nerf them, but I do hope underperforming weapons will get some balance pass as well. And most likely it will all happen before winter this year. And I'm really excited about it. That's everything for this video. Now you can unleash your toughs in the comment section. It's all for you. If you are pro legacy, against legacy, whatever your opinion is, you can drop it right there. Drop it. Don't hesitate. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.